Hello humans, this is Dr. Kai and this is going to be a series that I always dreamed of doing, teaching you guys how to pimp out your engines, right? This is Dirty Drive Tuning 101. You with me? Good. Because we are going to go through every step of the way, learning how to get those 800 meters per second boosts. 800 meters per second, by the way, is nearly 2000 miles an hour. It's really fast. The um, huge station is going to look tiny once you get up to this. So how do we do it? Well, there's actually quite a lot of things you need to do. First you need to get the invite to Elvira Tuk and then unlock her. Then you need to get to rank 3.5 roughly the Elvira Tuk to get an invite to Marco Quent. Then you need to get the Sirius permit in order to get into Sirius where Marco Quent lives. Then you need to do a mission to unlock Marco Quent from Sirius. Then you need to get hold of 25 modular terminals and bring them to Marco Quent to unlock him. Then you need to get to rank 3.5 roughly with Marco Quent to get the Professor Palin invite. Um, plus other things and then you need to unlock Professor Palin by bringing 25 unknown artifacts but don't get overwhelmed because I'm going to go through them step by step and they aren't going to take as long as they may sound so the person who does the best drive tuning is Professor Palin he's got grade 5 thrusters let's go through all of the requirements in order to unlock Ilvir Matuk you need to have traveled 300 light years you're going to have to travel 5000 total anyway to unlock Professor Palin so if you haven't done that you might as well do that now then you have to bring 3 Suntil relics from Charanovsky city in Unguri I think that's how you pronounce it, but I think a South African could probably improve on that. And then you need to get up to grade 3. In order to get over rank 3 with an engineer, as I was discussing when I was doing FSD range modding 101, you need to basically do loads of grade 1 rolls. And grade 1 rolls are very easy to do because the materials are very easy to find, especially now that you get 3 for every pickup. So let me show you a new tool. This is called ED Engineer. You can find it here. Um, you go get the installer from here, um, the link is in the description and then from here you filter your engineer, so you go to engineer filter untick all and we want Elvira Matuk so basically what you do is you go through each one of these the grade 1 version and you find all the materials, so here's carbon another grade 1 is phosphorus and another grade 1 is distorted shield cycle recordings so Oh, and there's actually quite a lot more. So basically, you go through all of them, and I'll put a list in the description of all the things that you need to collect. Um, but if you get, say, 30 carbon or 15 carbon and 15 phosphorus and maybe two or three others, just to it's between 30 and 40 to get up to grade 3 and then get the invite, because you have to be sort of in the middle of grade 3, like about 30% into grade 3. So maybe 40 rolls, maybe 45 if you're unlucky. Um, collect those and then just basically do a bunch of... Um, grade 1 thruster rolls, grade 1 shield reinforcement rolls, you don't even have to apply them, you just have to do the roll. If you want to see the application of this principle, um, go see the end of this video because we're actually going to do it visually with Professor Palin to get up to grade 5 in the exact same method. So that is basically it. So now for Marco Quent, in order to actually go to him, you need to be able to get invited by Sirius and you can only be invited by Sirius by having the Sirius permit. So you're going to need to get allied with the Sirius Corporation. Now to get allied with the Sirius Corporation, you need to do missions for them um, and in order to do that, obviously you can't get into Sirius itself, but they are found in various places like Procyon and Lightning Star. Um, if you base yourself in these two places, maybe going in between them, picking up missions, after about 20, maybe 30 missions of medium reputation game, you should get up to Allied. It's not that long, you can do it in a day. Then, you need to actually go into Sirius, dock here, and wait for an invitation to Marco Quent from the Sirius Corporation. It will be a mission. Thanks to Pan Piper, um, this is what it looks like. You'll get a mission that's basically, when you complete the mission, the reward will be getting the engineer Marco Quent. This is thanks to Bogdanov. Once you complete that, you will have your invite. Now all you need to do is get the modular terminals. This is the hard bit. I've looked at this post by Commander Buxton and while I've updated some of the stuff he suggests here, basically he says that he's found, looking around, that you get basically modular terminals. The only way you can get them is from missions. Thanks to Pan Piper again for this screenshot. They are rewards, you never get more than four at a time. So you want to do as many missions as you can that actually contain them. You need to find those missions and be patient. Never, you can't store these. They have to stay in your cargo and if you change ship they have to come with you. They don't, they're not materials in the sense that they just come with you to any ship and you, you know, you have to do this in one go. Um, there's a lot of people that have them on the forums and give them out. So if you just go on the forums, you go on Reddit, you go on Discord and ask, has anyone got any spare modular terminals? You'll probably get a few, but to get 25, the best way of doing it, you probably would have got quite a few getting your serious permit, but you also get them from high-tech worlds in boom states. Um, there will be more missions with those, although you can pretty much get them anywhere. 
So good luck with that. And then to get up to Professor Palin, you need to do exactly the same with Marco Quint as you did for Elvin Martuk. You need to get to grade three. You need to filter on ED Engineer. You go through the grade ones and you make sure you collect the things sulfur, iron, sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. He uses a lot of sulfur apparently. So basically get about 30 iron or sulfur for Marco Quint, do about 30 to 40 to 45 grade 1 rolls with any of these things. Don't have to apply them, just do the roll, discard. And then, as long as you've travelled 5,000 light years from your start system, you should get an invitation from Professor Palin straight away. And now all you need to do is find 25 unknown fragments, and I will show you now how that's done. So, there is a place at HIP 17403A4A at these coordinates where you can collect 25 unknown fragments in one go without having to refresh the instance. And it's called the third alien crash site discovered by Shibuka. Subscribe to him on YouTube, he is an absolutely great YouTuber, good friend of mine. And um, all you need to do is land there, as you can see, it's quite a creepy place. You get scanned randomly by no one, I don't know what that's all about. And then you just need to drive around, blow up the unknown artifacts and collect the unknown fragments that come out. There'll also be some unknown fragments just laying around. Again, very creepy place, but it should all be done very quickly. And then all that's left to do now is head over to Maya, scan the nav beacon, get the coordinates for the Palin Research Center, go and land, um, hand over the unknown fragments to unlock Professor Palin, and then do 300 grade 1 rolls, or however you want to do it, whatever strategy you impose. I found that um, 300 atypical disrupted wake echoes I was able to collect quite easily when I was doing the data mine wake exception collecting um, and after 300 rolls you'll be grade 5 and you're ready to move on to the next videos where I'll go through how to actually collect the materials for the grade 5 rolls. So long humans! To the heavens to see what secrets they hold. Join me as I sail amongst the stars.